Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whitehorny, and this is Sketching Mystery Structure 1. Today we're going to sketch this three-dimensional structure, which is made of small cubes. For this activity, you'll need a pencil and a blank piece of paper. An optional supply is a highlighter or a marker. Pause the video until you have those supplies ready. As we prepare to draw, remember to pause the video whenever you would like. If you want more time to draw or more time to look at the structure, just click pause. I'll place the symbol up here as a reminder that you can pause whenever you would like. Okay, let's begin. There are many different ways to draw this structure. In this video, I'll show you one way. Start by drawing a large square. Then draw two lines through the middle of the square, a horizontal line and a vertical line. Now we can see four small squares. Now we'll extend the lines to the right and then create two more squares. In the same way, we'll extend the lines to the left and create two more squares. We can see eight small squares now. Now we'll extend the lines to the top and then create two more squares. In the same way, we'll extend the lines to the bottom and create two more squares. We can see 12 small squares now, and the front face of the structure is complete. Don't draw the next part yet. First, let me point out some important details. In a moment, we'll focus on these corners, and after I point out some important details, you will draw a short line from each of these corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So your paper will soon look like this, but first there are some important ideas to think about. The first important idea is that we are drawing cubes. One feature of a cube is that all of the edges are the same length. However, we are using perspective in our three-dimensional drawing. To create that sense of perspective, we will draw the diagonal lines a little shorter than the lines of the small squares. Notice how the diagonal line appears to be a little shorter than the other lines. The second idea is that all of the diagonal lines will be the same length as each other. Here you can see that they are all shorter than the sides of the square. Notice how the lines are all the same length as each other. The third important detail is that they are all drawn in the same direction at the same angle as each other. That is an important detail. When you draw the lines, you can look at the other lines for reference. That will help you to know how long to make each line and at what angle to draw each line. It helps to know that they will all be the same length and that they will all be drawn at the same angle. The third important detail is that they are all parallel. That is, they are all drawn in the same direction as each other. That is an important detail. When you draw the lines, you can look at the other lines for reference that will help you to know how long to make each line and at what angle to draw each line. It helps to know that they will all be the same length and that they are drawn at the same angle and that they are all parallel to each other. Here are the diagonal lines one more time. And remember that each of the diagonal lines will be a little shorter than the sides of the square. Here is one more look at that comparison. Now that we've seen that closely, let's draw the diagonal lines. From this corner, draw a diagonal line. From this corner, draw a matching diagonal line. From this corner, another matching diagonal line, and we'll continue. From this corner, another matching diagonal line. From this corner, another. From this corner, another. From this corner, another. From this corner, another. And finally, from this corner, another matching diagonal line. The final step is to draw the back of the shape. We'll draw a line from this corner. However, it won't appear to end at a corner. Instead, as we draw it straight across, it will appear to end about one-third of the way up this side of the square, like this. Now, connect these two ends. Then, draw a line straight down, a line straight across, now connect these two ends, and the last line will begin at this corner, but it won't appear to end at a corner. Instead, it will appear to end about one-third of the way across this side of the square, 
like this. And now the structure is complete. Great job on completing the first math sketch challenge. If you would like an additional challenge, you can shade the structure the way that you see it, or you can find a brand new way to break it apart that no one has thought of yet. Good luck and enjoy. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Sketching Mystery Structure 1.